I don't think anybody anticipates how much a dog will change their lives. From the time he was a puppy, he never left my side. He was my sidekick. Looking back at it, this, that chapter, you know, the last 12 years, um, it's been pretty special. Gunner has given me an introduction to my wife, Emily, and four amazing kids. Girl. My two-year-old, Ellie, is obsessed with them and won't go to sleep without them. I mean, hell, he's given me my truck, my, I mean, every, like, milestones of launching the product, launching our first kennel. All rotobolted design. We've got a lockable paddle latch, up, we've got a drain plug in the pan uh, Yeah, that's fine. Like, it. I built the kennel for Gunner, and so I just had this blind, if I'm this crazy about my dog, surely others are this crazy about their dog. When we were coming up with the name of, of the company, I, I kind of had this feeling of just like, I'm doing this for my dog. I want everybody to know my dog's name. All right, give it a gunner. We're building products for a dog that we love. And as I laid there tearing up with you in the Mississippi summer heat, not knowing if you're going to make it another 24 hours, I made you a promise. I said, if it's your time and you need to go, go. But if you can stick around a little bit longer, I promise you that I'll get you on some more ducks this year. Ducks. That's all you needed to hear, and your half-deaf ears perked up like lightning. After that, the MRI results told us it was not cancer in your brain. It was a disc in your neck that would need to be removed immediately. They said that you might not ever run again, much less be able to hunt. But I knew better. If you'd be able to walk, you'd be able to hunt. So after the surgery and daily trips and physical therapy, things did seem to be getting better. We always start by doing just a little quick exam, make sure that there's no new injuries or anything like that. And in the beginning, he was very wobbly over all of these. He was tripping. He would really knock every bar as he was stepping over them. Again, good boy. <laughs> The water and the hydrostatic pressure helps stimulate all those nerves and helps with that, that body awareness. Um, that's so important. It also helps kind of relieve some of the pressure off your joint. We've been on some really incredible hunts that we wouldn't have otherwise without starting this company. I'll say, Emily, I gotta go, and you know, she'll be two or three kids, <laughs> be pregnant with another one on the way, and go, I gotta go, this could be his last season. She, every time we go, you know damn well he's gonna hunt next year, and, and so that's, He's given me an excuse to go hunting and enjoy the outdoors, call it a business. The options are, I think the first one is do nothing, yeah. um, then potentially amputate his, <laughs> his arm, which he just, you know, he's 12 years old and, and um, just went through surgery. And we kind of figured, you know, if he's only got a few more months left, do we want to put him through that? And then another option is just chemo, which is what we're currently doing, yeah. just once every three weeks. And we actually have our next one on Friday. Friday. Yeah. yeah. And I think the biggest thing, the biggest part of our dialogue was that you were very clear that your goal was this that he be happy and be goofy and still able to go duck hunting and do all those things that he loves to do and that's really where we came right. came up with our plan moving forward that we're going to do what we can to shrink this and keep him as comfy as possible knowing that with the fact that his cancer had already spread by the time we found it that sadly we are going to lose him to this but we're going to do what we can to keep him happy and goofy as long as we can. We know it's coming. It, it's been depressing as hell, but trying to enjoy the time that we've got with him, just trying to celebrate his life and all the times that we've had with him. Um, you know, I think that we've got a few more months with him, but, uh, taking every day, one day at a time. I think the kids have an idea. I think that because I am 
just loving on him more and paying more attention to him and just just always making sure that everybody's extra sweet to him that I think that they've got an idea, at least the two older ones. That dog had such an impact on me, more than I even realize now. You know, and I'll never forget this dog. It's, it's shaped my whole life. As I try to find the words to describe you, as you lay here on what seems to be your deathbed, I keep coming back to these words, old warrior. But it was time to hold up my end of the bargain, and I took you on a preserve hunt where you picked up 32 mallards. You were in your element again, doing what you love most with the people you love most. take a minute to step back and think how thankful I am that I was able to start this company and, and with Gunner. I think that's another thing that I'll look back on more and be like, wow, my dog had such an impact on me, more than I even realize now. Hey, good boy, a boy. You're their life, their love, their leader. They'll be yours, faithful and true to the last beat of their heart. Be worthy of such devotion. Thank you for everything, guys. This is the worst part about owning a dog. Well, I think Gunner's pretty lucky. I mean, he's inspired us. Bless you. A company and a movement. And I mean, sadly, even when he's not here anymore, he's still going to save other dogs' lives just from, from being. Bittersweet, probably his last hunt, and we ended on a good one and kind of hard. And he doesn't want to quit, he, he could keep going. But looking back, you may have been in just as much pain as before we went on our last run. You just never showed it because you're an old warrior and you've taught me more about life than you'll ever know. Old warrior, that description just won't stop running through my mind. We launched our website and had our first of four children just six years ago tomorrow. And I didn't think you would get to this point, but as tired as I am and as old as I feel, I don't think I'll ever amount to being an old warrior like you. But gosh damn it, I'm gonna try. Hopefully one day my kids and grandkids will be talking about me saying, I too was an old warrior. Thank you, Gunner. I owe so much of my life to you and will forever be in debt. I will honor you by making on, the best products possible for all the other warriors out there. Those that drive through frozen ponds and thick thorns to find the birds for their leaders without questioning their commands. Old warrior, my world will not be the same without you. The name of this brand is gonna be on every one of our products. The logo is from a picture that Emily took of him when we were trying to come up with the logo. Like we're gonna have his name and, and a piece of him on all of our products. I feel like myself and our customers would want a product to be designed for your dog. Uh, they give us so much and they've, 
they change lives. We've got an opportunity to build on that and do it the right way. Just thank you, Gunner.